Hello, Story Wilson with rswsolutions.com. This is a Windows 10 machine, and we're going to go over some of the steps to fix a recent driver problem with Windows 10. Windows 10 will update your drivers in the background without your knowledge, and in this case, the update for the drivers will render the RSW Solutions hardware non-functional. All we have to do is switch the drivers back to the drivers you installed originally. So to do that, we're going to go to the Start menu, go to the Device Manager, type in Device Manager, and click on device manager there you go so the new device manager opens up go ahead and plug in your USB hardware you hear the USB enumeration sound down here under universal serial bus controllers you should see the USB express device right click on that and go to properties on the drivers tab you'll see this driver is 2015 that driver will not work that driver has been updated without your knowledge it's version 6.7 we want the old version so there should be an option to roll back the driver go ahead and roll it back roll back the driver will result in version 3.3 from 2010. That driver will function, and that should restore functionality to your software. So go ahead and uh, test it after that. All right, so here's another scenario that can happen. You plug in your hardware. You've gone down to the Universal Serial Bus Adapter area, right-clicked on USB Express devices, and the driver says 2015. Yep, that's the wrong driver. We need to put an older driver back in. Oh, there's no ability to roll back the driver. Now in these cases, what's usually happened is you have not yet installed the uh, SI Labs drivers that came with the RSW Solutions hardware. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Inside the program group folder of all RSW Solutions programs, there is a drivers directory. And inside that drivers directory, there's the USB Express installer. Now you're gonna wanna right click on this and choose run as administrator. If you don't do that, you'll get this message. Right click on it, run as administrator, and these are driver version 3.3, simply install, done. Now if we go back to the device manager, let's go ahead and unplug, plug back in, hardware. Now you should have the ability to roll back the driver, simply roll it back, and we're running it version 3.3 from 2010, that will function properly. So hopefully this helps. Sorry this problem has happened. It's out of my hands. This auto update happens in the background. I use the older drivers to provide compatibility with older operating systems. So I don't want to lose that functionality. Um, doing this, you'll be able to use this on the older operating systems, Windows XP, Windows 7, also through Windows 8, and now with Windows 10, as long as you're using the older drivers. Thanks.